Hi everybody, welcome to another video about Ready Player Me Studio. In this video, we are going to cover my applications tab, where we actually saw our first created application during the sign up process. Now we can create new applications, new instances of Ready Player Me Editor. We can change the configuration of it. We can also visually change it, apply the different visual themes to it to make it look like a, a seamless part of our housing application. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to Ready Player Me YouTube channel and also like this video, this helps a lot. And let's get back to Ready Player Me Studio. All right, in the previous video, we took a look at all the options that is available, all the features that are available in Ready Player Me Studio. And this time we will be specifically on my applications tab and see how we can create a new application and what kind of configurations we can change in those applications. Test application you are seeing right now in this page is the application that I created during the onboarding process. When I create an account in Ready Player Me Studio, it made me also create a new application to start with. So this is that one. Um, we will continue using that, but if you want to create a new application, let's say you have a web application that uses Ready Player Me and you have a game that uses Ready Player Me, you can actually have multiple instances of Ready Player Me and configure them totally differently and still use them and manage them from single dashboard, which is Ready Player Me Studio. Uh, on the right top uh, corner, you see this uh, add application button. You can click on it. This is going to have pretty much the same uh, fields that we saw in the onboarding. Uh, you will enter application name, you will enter a website, and you can also select what type of integration did it, this is, where, will, where it will be distributed. Also some notes about uh, what is the purpose of usage in this application. So once you fill this in, you can click on add and have a new application. I'm not going to fill them right now. We can continue from the previous application that we created while signing up. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, this is the details we see when we actually select, uh, click on one of the applications. At the top, you will see subdomain, app ID and organization ID. Subdomain is this designated uh, Ready Player Me instance that we have. So this part is my subdomain and it's part of Ready Player Me domain. We can click on it and go there. So this, what you see is my private Ready Player Me instance. So every change I will do will reflect here directly. And application ID and organization ID, these are used when you want to make um, API calls through RESTful API of Ready Player Me. Uh, then you will need these two information, that, thus they are uh, available here. We are not going to cover them yet, but we will take a look at them later in another video. So in the configurations tab, you will see you can change the full body avatar type that is uh, you get to start with to half body or either, or you can also have your uh, users select which type of uh, avatars they want. So your application might be using half body and full body avatars at the same time by design. So this is also possible that they can actually pick that. So I'm going to leave it with half body. Um, we have a language picker available uh, checked. So you can see here that is, you can change the language of the uh, editor from here. Uh, there's a avatar creation success window. Uh, there's short code option and there's QR code. I'm going to enable QR code and let's click on save to uh, manifest these changes. It should start with the same avatar and I'm going to click on next. What this does is in the success window, we get a render of the avatar, we get the URL of the avatar and a QR code that we can scan and go to this URL. So um, if you disable the avatar creation success window, uh, you will not get this window, but the URL will be emitted to the listening application where you implemented a uh, Ready Player Me in. So you can actually get the URL on that side and start loading it using a Ready Player Me SDK or one of the integrations we have available. So this is pretty much that. Um, and on the other side, short codes are shorter versions of the URLs that also helps you load Ready Player Me avatars. QR code is also a URL encoded into a QR code that you can use. And these are pretty much all the simple configurations that are available in Ready Player Me. And let's take a look at the themes. So Ready Player Me comes with a light and dark theme. What you see here is the dark theme of Ready Player Me. I can click on light, save it. And if I go back to my subdomain and refresh that, what I'm going to see is the bright theme this time. 
So this is uh, the second theme over the play me. Of course, um, one, one very popular case is that you embed ready play me into your application and your application actually has uh, different colors and you want ready play me to look seamless with that. So the colors and everything is matching. In that case, you can uh, actually select custom theme and edit it. Previously, I was playing with some of the colors. So I have this. So you can also observe how it would look in mobile and desktop. What you can do is you can pick different categories like colors, editor background and change the colors. So for example, let's say we have a application that has yellow, yellow and black theme in general. So I can actually pick that, bring it here. So I have a darker yellow for uh, the top button or let's say for example, black button, uh, grayish button here background navigation background will be yellowish maybe something like that and then button colors are all right and let's edit the background background should be completely white this can be black and bottom lights should be maybe bluish and let's let's make the buttons round and let's change the color of the font to white as well so they are visible and you can also change the global font so let's say we have a taxi application or something where the plane we could look like this uh, with the yellow uh, color scheme so i'm gonna click on save again and i'm gonna refresh my ready player me we should have the yellow ready player me now so this is pretty much that all right and finally, um, when we were creating our Ready Player Me application uh, the, during sign up, we added um, a website information and what kind of uh, integration environment we were going to have. So in the application details tab, you can actually edit those. Uh, you can edit the website and you can edit the environment of the development if that is not correct anymore or changed. So you can also apply these changes here and click on save. So this is going to make it easier for you to uh, see your application. And, and that is pretty much it. So you can change the theme. You can apply different configurations to make it look like how you would want it. And also create new applications in my applications tab. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Ready Player Me YouTube channel and like this video and see you in another video. Bye bye.